question, though, it deals with the segment itself. Where do you see the minivan segment uh, going forward in terms of volume? And even in, in terms of size, are you looking at, you know, are you seeing more of a possibility of a smaller minivan moving forward? I think the, the minivan market, it, 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 if we're looking anywhere between 500 to 700,000 cars in the minivan world, I think we would be delighted. I think that's a good stabilization model for that. So, so it, it is the minivan solution in the U.S. market is a peculiar solution that's addressed to a particular set of needs. People eventually grow their way out of minivans. Right? And it's been a historical trend. And so as long as we keep on repopulating the customer base, and people make children that are small, <laughs> small enough to be catered to, I think many men will have a great life. Um, the, 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 the answer to your second question is, is, is an interesting question because we, as you know, historically Chrysler had a sort of wheelbase minivan, which um, they have some success. What I can tell you is that the architecture that we've chosen to replace the minivan is, a, is, is an architecture that has the built-in versatility to both be shrunk and, and narrowed. Um, and, and the reason the reason why we made that choice is because we recognize that at some point in time, also for international distribution, um, a, 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 a shrinking of the minivan may be required because it is a very large vehicle for non-US purposes. And so it will be, the, the, the new minivan will, will, will effectively be born with that capability. The question is to whether at launch or, in, or shortly after launch, we introduce a short wheel based minivan depends on what the international side would say. So we're examining that issue now. The car exists. We have seen the shorter the shorter the shorter wheel based solution. So it may very well be. But it's important that the flexibility built into the into the architecture. Because that architecture, if you look at it in, in the, the, the ultimate objective of that architecture is to replace the minivan, to do shorter wheelbase minivans, but also fundamentally to house a car that's a front wheel drive car and they can play in the full size segment if necessary. Have you made a decision whether to go with a Dodge minivan or a Chrysler minivan? That we don't know yet, although I can tell you we're going to be present with both brands in the people carrier business. Whether both brands will have sliding doors or not, that answer I think is pretty well set. We're only going to have one of them with a set of sliding doors. But you will not be disappointed in going to the other brand that doesn't have the sliding doors. It still has the same type of key, people carrying capabilities. And they will be manufactured in the same plant. They will, they will come out, both of them will come out of Windsor. Both will come out of Windsor. Should come out of Windsor. CUV and the uh, Yeah, the people carry it, whether you call it a CUV or otherwise. <laughs> Can I call this to you?